Hello, my name is Danny Yoon from Lattice Semiconductor. I'm going to highlight some of the exciting new devices and features that are supported in Lattice's newly released Diamond 3.7 design software suite. First on my screen, you can see that I'm showing one of the new devices that we are supporting, ECP512K. Lattice recently expanded the ECP5 family of low power, small form factor connectivity and acceleration FPGAs with the addition of the new ECP5 5G and ECP512K devices. ECP5 5G supports multiple 5G protocols, including PCI Express Gen 2, CIPRI, and JESD 204B. ECP 512K devices does not include CERTES, but offers programming I.O. support for many popular interface bridging functions, including LVDS, MIPI, and LPDDR3. This is an excellent compromise by not having to completely replace your solution with a fully programmable chip. Instead, you can pair this device alongside your ASIC or ASSP to get immense flexible connectivity. Lattice's family of Mach X02 and Mach X03L slash LF FPGA devices can now support some of our existing features in Lattice Diamond 3.7. The first is soft error injection. Now let me first go ahead and close this GUI. And you'll notice that I've already selected the Mach X03L 2100C device. Now in order to be able to inject error, we must first generate a bit stream, and this has been completed for you already. Ambient radiation can sometimes cause a circuit to alter its logical state, and this feature is mainly to allow the user to generate single bit errors, insert them into a bit stream, and detect them for analysis. Now let me open the SEI Editor tool by going to Tools and SEI Editor. Now in this GUI, you can see that you're presented with two different errors that we're going to inject into the PFU block at this specific site, and it also shows the bits that we're going to be toggling. Now when I go ahead and click on this run button, what we're doing is we're generating this bit file that will be used in the programming tool in which I will not show in the interest of time. Also new for Mach X02 and Mach X03L slash LF is support for lower voltage IO. If I go over to this tools and open up the spreadsheet view GUI, you can see over here on the IO type, if I go ahead and double click on any one of them and scroll down a little bit, you can see now that we support these LVCMOS 10 and 12 R 25 and 33 IO types. This is mainly used for low voltage applications. Now lastly, within our Lattice Diamond 3.7 tool suite, we offer a proprietary synthesis tool, LSE, or Lattice Synthesis Engine, which has been enhanced to enable more efficient designs with smaller footprint, lower power, and higher performance. Our greatly improved Netless Analyzer Schematic Analysis tool makes in-depth design analysis a breeze. Let me go ahead and show you that. If I go to Tools, Netless Analyzer, you can see that we open up this schematic view showing the current design that we have compiled. If I go ahead and select this instance, right click, and say Filter Schematic, then we're presented with just this specific instance of the Serial Reg Custom. Furthermore, if I click on this D data input pin, right click, go to expand, and expand to FF slash IO, and click on that, you can see that the Netless Analyzer tool has filtered out to these two originating flip-flops, which also goes through this multiplexer. Now, in terms of ease of use, I can easily hold down my right mouse button and either zoom in or zoom out of design by just dragging, which makes for design analysis even easier. We are excited about these products and feature updates through our popular Lattice Diamond software suite, which allows users to achieve their design goals without compromising device functionality. Be sure to check out our website for more information or to download the latest software. Thank you for listening.